Spring of 2009 was very interesting, a very interesting uh, time uh, indeed. And um, I was um, simultaneously putting out sort of um, more grounded uh, vlogs myself or video logs myself. But I was stopped by others, and especially what the AIX did, especially after his experience with the law, or the so-called law. Check it out. And I did it all based in honesty. Honestly. In the beginning, my videos got more hits than they did in. And in the end, I have way more videos than I did in the beginning. If on the average, I get 200 hits a day per video. I've been on this medium for a year. How come on an average I get less than 30 hits per video? In the crux of hearing this news that YouTube is being bought by some other place, this will truly be my last and final YouTube video. I want you and I encourage you to write the new owners of YouTube to ask them to personally ask me to come back. If I've earned you millions, if not billions of dollars by letting you exploit me for free, when you sell this channel, you do not sell the rights to me. I absolutely agree with AIX. Um, I think it's definitely suspicious. Um, but you've got to think of it um, like this, uh, 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 like a double-edged sword. Um, from the point of the user, from people who upload videos, um, they would like more uh, clicks so that they will know that people are watching um, regardless of what the type of video it is, especially if it's a positive message, if it's a, a meaningful video. Uh, but at the same time, you may not, because of the shenanigans that YouTube um, is putting up, you may not want them to be paid because a number of click equals um, an, amount of, an amount of money for a YouTube. Um, so that's one edge of the sword. The other edge is, well, YouTube also wants to be paid, so the more clicks it has, the more benefit is, uh, it is or there is for it. Uh, so, but at the same time, it will mean that um, positive messages will have a um, an outlet. There will be there will be the perception at least that well it's catching on uh, the facade is finally falling um, we've been exposed you know all this negativity we've been promoting actually nobody probably was watching so it's very suspicious that they may be actually sort of um, adding extra views maybe or al allowing the view restrict account to just run wild in less meaningful videos while in even your own less meaningful video the same thing could be done and then you're made to look stupid but in those positive videos you're kept to the low 20s and 30s uh, and even um, teens uh, in number of views so yeah I think it's, there's definitely inside sort of um, inside maneuvers to get the cap on the number of views set in place there after watching my videos go big time someplace else overnight YouTube was making me I feel like I've aged. Feels like I've aged. It feels like people have seen me over a thousand times on some other website as to where as I've been on YouTube and I go from being seen over a thousand times a day to 20 or 30 hits per video. I have figured out YouTube completely. This is how YouTube works. YouTube is not a site for, say, uh, political commentary, unless you're news or something. YouTube is not a site for um, teaching knowledge, because YouTube suppresses knowledge. Um, like I said, you can say any ignorant or stupid thing on a video. You can even do dumb stuff. And no problem. So, um, I thought about it. 
BS videos just shown all over the world. You say something positive, it only filters within our little circle. You know what I'm talking about? Every now and then somebody will get lucky and pop in our circle like Chai Global. You know, I'm a boy from the UK. But can you imagine if there was a thousand Chai Globals watching our stuff? You get it? You get the picture? been put in the back burner and nobody ever hears what we have to say. But, like I said, for the millionth time you say something negative, they will make it a point for that to be said. 